Barbara McClintock is a scientist in the 1940s. She was very respected. She developed some very important techniques in you know, using microscopes, studying chromosomes, genetics, and all kinds of stuff. And she basically hacked a cord and plant and got it to evolve in real time. That's really what she did, okay? And this paper, it, it was by James Shapiro. It was explaining cellular error detection, error correction, repair mechanisms, all these things that communication engineers know about, things that are in your router or your cell phone. And he's explaining they have all these, and, and her experiments had triggered um, these systems to switch on and start rearranging genes. And I'm like, holy cow, Like, how come nobody has told me about this? This is really important. Again, I knew as a communication engineer what, what this paper was talking about was central to the evolution question. And I would argue that, that McClintock was a, a better scientist than Darwin, and what she discovered is actually more important. Okay? In fact, you know, some people, especially people in genetics, think McClintock uh, was one of the greatest scientists of the entire 20th century, which, which I would agree with. Because, okay, what did Darwin figure out? Well, first of all, Darwin did not really figure out where species come from. His book is called Origin of Species, but if you want to know where you get a new species, the explanation you get in there is very incomplete at best. Okay, he identified the importance of natural selection, but natural selection doesn't create anything. Okay, natural selection explains the survival of the fittest. It does not explain the arrival of the fittest. Okay, so when you get right down to it, Darwin didn't really explain much of anything. He gave you a very broad outline which I think was basically correct. But then, as far as how it all works, he had no idea. Okay, he didn't understand genetics. He didn't understand DNA. He didn't even know what's inside a cell, frankly. I'm not putting them down. Okay, but what McClintock did was light years ahead of that. And she was the first person to observe evolution happening in real time and actually understand what had happened. That is a big deal. And so it's really kind of a crime against humanity that most people still have no idea who she is. And if you're in biology, you're probably not going to learn the stuff that she discovered until you're a sophomore or a junior. And actually, they should be telling you that stuff in high school biology.